I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to take a contact who is labeled as cleaned in MailChimp and change them into a subscribed contact. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And when you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments. YouTube likes longer videos and I like to answer your questions quickly. First, let's define what a cleaned contact is. A cleaned contact means that the email address had a hard bounce. A hard bounce is when the email address did not work. Maybe that email address no longer exists. Maybe there is a firewall that will never let you in. And very often it is because there was some sort of typo in that email address. The strategies that I'm going to show you today are for changing over one or two of these clean contacts. If you have a lot that needs to be switched over, like maybe you imported a whole list wrong, I have a specific video just for you. I will link that up here and down in the description. Okay, so let's go on the premise that we had a typo in this email address, like here, Oprah at Oprah.con, that gmail.con comes up all the time. We're going to need to change the email address and subscribe them. So we can do this two different ways. One is that you can just create a brand new contact with the correct email address and leave the bad one as cleaned. That's the easy answer. If you have a whole bunch of other data in here where you really need to keep the contact intact and update that contact, we can go in and edit the contact, correct it here. Okay, so that is fixed, but they're still listed as cleaned. Now we need to resubscribe them. To resubscribe them, we are going to need to put their email address into an external signup form. So if you have a signup form on your website, you could put their email address in there, or I will show you where to find your default external signup form. You're gonna go over here to audience and signup forms. Scroll down here to form builder. And this is the signup form for your audience. This is actually the default branding here. You can update that with your logo and colors if you want to. And then this is the URL for this form. So we're gonna copy that and put it in a new browser. So we are going to put her email address in here. I will warn you here that unlike some other forms, if you submit these as blank, they will override any content that you have in those fields. So you will want to fill these out again or change your form so it's just the email address. You also could export your list and then once this is resubscribed, import them again. And that would also fill them back in again. All right, so we are going to resubscribe here. I am not a robot. All right, let's hop back over to MailChimp. There she is, resubscribed. Well, there we go. I hope that I answered that question so quickly for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because I will always be here to answer your questions. Sign up for my email list and I'll see you around.